This is Tank's Vlog, November 20th, 2018. We're wrapping up Day in Sports and brought to you by Allow Me to Be Frank, where we just recorded today the latest podcast, another episode with Clem, where we discuss Thanksgiving football and life in general. So be sure to tune in. It's a great episode on SoundCloud and iTunes. That's Allow Me to Be Frank on SoundCloud and iTunes. This week, our special guest is Clem to the Thanksgiving episode, second year in a row. We had Clem, and let's go. Have you caught your breath yet? Has anyone caught their breath yet after that Monday Night Football game? Absolutely incredible. It lived up to and beyond expectations. Two best offenses put on an absolute show. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And at the end of the day, it was the Rams coming with a 54-51 win. Third highest scoring game in NFL history. Highest scoring Monday night game in NFL history. First time ever a team scored 50 points and lost. It was just an absolute showcase. Jared Goff, he didn't make the mistakes that Patrick Mahomes made. Patrick Mahomes had three interceptions and a couple of fumbles. It led to three touchdowns for the Rams. The Rams scored three times on defense. And that ultimately was what decided this game. Is probably a little more experience. Mahomes is still, even though it's his second year, he's basically a rookie. It's his first time experiencing all these uh, primetime games, primetime showdown, on the road. And he threw two big interceptions late. Uh, after the Rams had taken the lead, fi- did the lead for the final time, he had a couple of bad fumbles that led to directly to touchdowns, and there you have it. Uh, I mean, some of the biggest plays were actually made on defense. Samson Ekubon had two uh, scoopings, two uh, touchdowns on defense for the Rams, and every time the Rams look like they're about to pull away. The Chiefs came back. They were resilient. So that's one thing you got to hand to the Chiefs is that they were resilient in this game. And it was just absolute incredible game that, you know, you wanted, you don't want to always overplay these things. But this truly was, truly was. One of the best Monday Night Games I've ever seen. And probably one of the best Monday Night Games in NFL history. I mean, just absolute stunner. Both teams came in 9-1. and one. Both teams were the uh, best offenses in the NFL. And they lived up to it. Uh, Rams are going in there by 10-1. Chiefs are going in there by 9-2. And, and both teams certainly deserve to buy. After this, just <laughs> bravo performance. Uh, moving the game to Los Angeles was the right thing to do. I mean, I know the NFL wants to grow the game, but the field conditions in Mexico City were bad. And this is the game. This is the game that's going to bring Los Angeles back into the NFL. This is the year the Rams have been back in the NFL, and they've been sometimes they've been losing the home crowd edge. If you see, the Packers got more fans in there. This I think is going to make people in Los Angeles embrace the Rams. They honor the firemen who've been battling the uh, wildfires out there in uh, Southern California, and it just was the loudest. You heard that place. This is the first time the Rams actually felt like they had a home field advantage at home since coming to L.A., coming back to L.A. And it was just, without a doubt, one of the best Monday Night Football games in NFL history. This game will be remembered. This game will be talked about for years to come. Just like when... uh, the 49ers and Giants played in 1990. That was a different game. That was a 7-3 score. People still talk about that one. 
28 years from now, people will still be talking about this one. Moving to the NBA. The Boston Celtics just continue to underwhelm. On uh, the Monday night, they dropped a 9-8 and eight with a loss to the Charlotte Hornets. As Kemba Walker, who scored 60 points two nights ago, scored 43 in the Hornets' 117-112 win. It was the Pistons, 113-102 over the Cleveland Cadabras. Cadabras have yet to win a game away from Cleveland. 0-8 on the road. Jazz, another team that's off to a slow start, although they've beaten the uh, Celtics twice. They're 8-9. And Monday, they lost to the Pacers, 121-94. It was the 76ers beating off a challenge from the Suns, 33-17. Uh, 119-114 as Joel Embiid had a big game with, 100, with 33 points and 17 rebounds. It was the Clippers, 127-119 over the Hawks. The Grizzlies beat the Mavericks, 98-88. So far, Grizzlies, uh, after a bad year last year, have had a good bounce back. They're seven and one at home, and eleven and five overall. Bucks beat Nuggets one hundred four ninety eight. Big game by Giannis Antetokounmpo, twenty nine points, twelve rebounds, six assists. It was the Pelicans taking down the Spurs one forty to one twenty six, and the surprising Sacramento Kings beat the Thunder one seventeen to one thirteen. NHL tonight on ice. It was the start. The Rangers continuing their solid play, beating the Stars two to one. The Maple Leafs beat the Blues four to two. It was the Sabers five four winners over the Penguins. Uh, excuse me, that was Maple Leafs four two over the Blue Jackets. Sorry about that. Sorry about the confusion. My bad. My mistake. It was the Sabres 5-4 winners over the Penguins in overtime. Pittsburgh continues their struggles. Capitals beat the Canadian 5-4 in overtime. It was the, Path the Panthers 7-5 winners over the Senators. The Predators beat the Lightning 3-2. The Jets doubled up the Canucks 6-3. Patrick Lane Laney had a hat-trick in that one. It was the Flames... Torching the Knights of Vegas, seven to two. Vegas continues their sluggish start at nine, twelve, and one. Last year, they were amazing. This year, they look like an expansion team. And the Kings blanked the Blues two to nothing. And after the game, Mike Yao, coach of the Blues, was told, "Get ye out." As um. The Blues made a coaching change. Don't be surprised to see Joe Quenville end up in St. Louis. Po Very near future. Don't be surprised. I see that definitely coming. Today's three stars are... You have to pick the two quarterbacks from that unbelievable classic Monday Night Football game. Jared Goff is the number one star and Patrick Mahomes number two. Our third star is Cal Pedersen, who had 29 saves in the Kings' shutout win over the Blues. Today's birthday shutout goes to... Hopefully he gets better. He showed some signs at the end of the season this year. Uh, and I'm talking about Met shortstop Ahmed Rosario, who turns 23. And we take a look back to 1983 when John Riggins scored a touchdown in his 12th straight game to start the season. He'd extend that streak to 13 games the following week. And in 1984, the 1983 became the first running back to, to have 20 rushing touchdowns and ended the season with a record 24 touchdowns. Check out the full story at Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia where sports history lives. And don't forget... Thanksgiving episode, allow me to be frank, SoundCloud, iTunes, listen, you'll be thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly entertained.
I might even say it's as good as that football game. Good day.